Hi there, this is trainer Julia and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe if you like what you see. It's calisthenics day. We're gonna do a great fun calisthenics workout together. You don't need any equipment, just stuff you can find here at the park. So without further ado, let's do a great workout together. Let's go. All right, so here we are to do our calisthenics workout. Remember calisthenics just means exercises using your own body weight. I'm gonna give you alternatives. I'm gonna show you each move. Then we're gonna do each one for a certain number of reps and move on to the next. We're gonna move on quickly so that we keep our heart rate up. We're gonna start with push-ups. So three levels of push-ups I can show you. Easiest level is on the knees. Level two, of course, regular push-up, starting out in that plank position. And harder still is a Superman push-up. Much more difficult. So pick your level, we're gonna do 10 to 12 or as many as you can. I'm gonna go level two. All right, push it up, let's go. Try to keep that nice straight back. Hands under the shoulders. If you're doing them on the knees, try to get up and do one or two regular push-ups. The nice thing about calisthenics is you can see your improvement because you'll be able to do more reps. I wasn't counting, I lost track. So I'm gonna do two more. Of course, we're working the muscles of the chest and the tricep muscles when we're doing push-ups. Number two on our list is gonna be plank. So once again, I'm gonna show you three levels. We're gonna go right into each exercise one after another to keep that heart rate up. So similar to the push-up, here's your regular plank position. Level two, if you wanna to try to make it a little harder, is get up into that plank and side to side it, creating more instability if you really want to go for it with the plank, you're going to go down to the elbows, back up to the hands. All right, so those are your three levels. Exercise number two, plank, pick a level. I'm going to try that level three. And again, 10 to 12 or as many reps as you can do. So let's go. This one is hard because the ground is hard. I think I've only done three. If you need to rest, because I think I do, <laughs> you're gonna rest in that regular plank position. Or if you need to rest from the plank, you can put your knees down for a second. Let's do a few more. I think I got a couple more of those in me. One more. And hold that plank. All right, that was number two, the plank. Number three, we're gonna do dead bug. We're gonna move down to a core exercise. So dead bug, we're just lying on our back. And as the name suggests, you're like a dead bug. So here's your position number one. If you wanna make it harder, you're gonna extend the opposite legs and hands one at a time. Don't worry too much about your coordination. And because this is an ab move, we're not gonna do a certain number of reps, but basically you wanna keep your abs pulled in tight. You wanna be feeling this in your abs. And I can definitely feel that. So your rest position is like this, otherwise, Keep just moving those opposite arms and legs. Hey, it's getting sunny out. This is great. I'm just gonna do a few more seconds of that. You should be feeling that down the front of your abs. So down the rectus abdominis, which is called. We'll just do a few more seconds. Again, the great thing about calisthenics is we're working all these muscles in the body, but we're, we don't need any equipment. Okay, so that was our core move. 
And now we're gonna do some lunges. So three levels of lunges again. I'm gonna show you the three levels, pick your level. Level one, just some regular up and down lunges. So dropping the rear leg, keeping that front knee from going in front of the toe, keeping your posture nice and straight, nice straight back, looking forward, and doing as many reps on the left side as you do on the right. One side, your balance will be slightly less. Mine is my left. There, that's level one. Level two, which is a little bit harder, we're gonna pulse it. Pulse it. Definitely feeling that more. And change sides. Pulse it. Something even a little bit more challenging, you could do your walking lunges. And basically you're gonna do either 10 to 12 or until you reach fatigue, so you can't really do any more. So, so as I don't move in and out of the camera, I'm gonna pick level two. I'm gonna do some pulse lunges. So let's work along together. Again, nice straight back, looking forward, drop that rear leg, and I'm gonna do the pulse. So do 10 to 12 on each side, whichever level you feel comfortable at. Again, making sure you keep that posture nice and straight and always remembering to switch over and do equal numbers of reps on either side of the body. Now down into that pulse. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day out. Yeah, definitely feeling that pulse more than just a regular lunge. And again, nice straight back. Okay. Next on the list, oh God, it's burpees. Okay, well, nobody loves burpees. If they say they love burpees, they're lying. But I'm gonna show you three different levels and then I'm gonna pick my level and let's get them over with. So, standing at the top of the mat, here's level one. Drop the hands, push back one leg at a time and in and up, just like that, level one. Level two, starting like this. Back with the legs and in and up. There's a lot of crazy other things you can do, but a level three might be, I'm not sure there's four and five, but level three, and then you jump it. So pick a level. I'm gonna pick level two, I think. And let's do 10 to 12 of those. Ready, top of the mat, and let's go. One. Trying to keep the movements strong. The reason why we do burpees, even if we don't like doing burpees, is that they basically work, well, almost every single muscle in the body. And they're actually a good barometer of overall fitness. Even if you can only do five or six, again, it's a great litmus test to how much you're improving if you're able to do more and more. I've lost count again. I'm gonna do three more. Two. Again, if you need to rest or go slower, one leg at a time. Okay, and that was burpees. All right, next we're gonna go down and do one more core move. We're gonna hit the core three times. So this one, flat on your back, keep your back Nice and snug up against the ground or the mat. Hands by your sides. Put the legs straight out and flutter. You can either flutter that way or up and down. Should be feeling that. I certainly am. Again, reset. You feel that back coming up off the mat. You can tuck those hands in, help stabilize yourself, and just flutter. Flutter whichever way you want to flutter. And again, maybe you want to try to do this for 30 seconds to a minute. Should be feeling that again in the rectus abdominis, down the front of the abdominals. A few more seconds. Definitely should be feeling that. Okay, great work. All right, 
Next, we're gonna do a funny one called the bear crawl. So when you're doing body weight exercises, there's certain muscles of the body are a little harder to hit than others. I'm talking about the shoulders right now. So actually, I just saw this move for the first time. I think it was a CrossFit video. I can't do it too much around here or I'll be in and out of the camera, but the idea of it is you have nice straight legs and if you have to move them a bit wider so that they're straight, you're gonna put your hands on the ground. You're gonna lift up your, your, sorry, your heels and then you're gonna walk like a bear. And I'll just kinda try to stay in the camera here. So the, and your head's gonna hang neutral. And the idea is, and yes, you definitely feel that on the shoulders. I don't know if my legs are perfectly straight. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. And the idea is the, uh, the deeper the angle, the more you work the shoulders. So you can just walk around like this for a, a few seconds. And I definitely do feel that in the shoulders. And obviously it's called a bear walk because we kind of look like we're walking like a bear. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay, that was the bear crawl. Now we're gonna do squats. I like doing squats. Again, I'm gonna show you three levels of squat. You're gonna pick your level and we're gonna do 10 to 12 or above if you can. So regular is just feet facing forward a little more than hip distance apart. And you're just sitting back like in a chair, that's all. So that's level number one. Level number two is a deeper squat. So if you're going a little bit below 90 degrees and maybe adding a bit of a pulse, that's level two. All right, level three is jump squats. Definitely harder. All right, so pick your level. I'm gonna try the jump squats. I don't know how many I can do. These are definitely challenging. I think that was six. I think that was 10. Whew, so I did 12 of those and that, that's definitely a harder. So again, the great thing is, if you do this workout a few times, you can gauge your muscle strength and endurance getting better by the more reps that you're able to do. All right, so we're going to do one more ab now. Yes, I know, it's annoying, but this is called the hollow core man or hollow man core, something like that. So your back is flat to the ground. You've got your feet planted on the floor. You lift your neck. Point out your hands, raise your knees, lift up your legs. Again, the levels are just go to whatever level you can. Lower the legs as close as you can to the floor without that back coming up. Put the hands back. I'm going to actually rest my head on the ground because I do find this hurts my neck. So if you find it's hurting your neck, as long as you keep that back nice and flat, you can still feel the abs working very hard, whether your head is on the mat or not on the mat. And basically just hold. This is a very difficult move. When you do need to rest or you find your back is coming up, you're gonna go back in, you're gonna reset. Lift those legs again. Lower the legs to whatever level is comfortable on the arms and hold. I definitely am feeling that, especially in the lower abs. So, yeah, if I were you, I'd do two or three in a row for shorter periods of time and just build up to that. That was a very good core exercise. I really felt that. 
Okay, next up, we're gonna do a favorite calisthenic, which is jumping jacks. Everybody knows jumping jacks. And again, there's three levels. There's always levels to every exercise. There's always levels for beginners, intermediate. So no impact, beginner level jumping jacks are just like this. Great if you're just starting out or if you can't do impact. And level two is your regular jumping jacks. That's level two. And then level three, getting more air and bigger arm movements. So pick your level, 10 to 12 reps or 30 seconds or so. The next exercise is like the jumping jacks. You're getting some cardiovascular benefit along with getting the benefit of working the muscles of the lower body and the arm muscles. If you need to go back down to a, a lighter for a second, for a rest, go back to that level one. Otherwise, this is your level three. The great thing about calisthenics too is all of these exercises are really easy to learn. They're not complicated. Most of them, you've done them before. Okay, so that was jumping jacks. And now is the segment in the workout. We're going to go over to the playground to finish up the rest of our moves. And you're gonna come along with me. Let's head over to the playground. So I'm gonna make sure we show my whole body here because I'm gonna show you step ups. So step ups, they are real easy to do. You're just stepping up. So in terms of levels, of course, the higher the level, this is a fairly high step, the greater the intensity and level of difficulty. We're working, of course, the muscles of the thigh. So again, just stepping up, putting all the weight on that one leg, trying to keep your posture as straight as possible, switching over and making sure to do an equal number of reps on each side of the body. And you can start on a very small, very small step. You will find one side is weaker generally than the other. For me, it's definitely my left side. And of course you can progress to all sorts of things like jumping and plyometrics, but we're not doing plyometrics today. All right, so that was step ups. Next exercise we're gonna do here is some tricep dips so we can work our triceps, isolate our triceps. You can do this two chairs, table and a chair, anything so you can put your hands on. If we had another spot, I would do level three, which is having my feet up on something else. Level one is with your arms, sorry, your arm, your, I'm sorry, your legs bent. Level two, which I'm gonna do. And we're just isolating the tricep muscles. We're just gonna do 10 to 12 of those. It's great because you don't need any equipment to do dips, but they are a very good isolator of those tricep muscles. Okay, now we're gonna do a great exercise for the back upper body strength called chin-ups. Everybody knows what chin-ups are. You probably did them in gym class when you were a kid. I'm just using a bar here. You could use any kind of bar that was at your gym if you have one of those bars at home. So I'm gonna just show my whole body here when we do this. I'm gonna try to do 10 to 12. There aren't really any easy levels with this just start off doing one. If you can do one, that's great. The next day, try to do two. 
That's the best way to do it. I don't even know if I can do 12. I'm gonna give it a go. I think that was nine. I'm just gonna reset just for a few seconds. You can do that and try to do three more. All right, there we go. 12 chin-ups. Now we're gonna do some reverse rows for the back. You can do this at the gym, on any bar at the gym. You could do it here at the playground. So just, if you have a TRX machine, which I do at home, finding your angle, pull in. Try to keep the back nice and straight. The deeper the angle, the more difficult the exercise. So again, working the muscles of the back, isolating the muscles of the back. Trying to keep things nice and straight. Even when you're slipping down the gravel. I can do probably two bar. Ah, one more. Okay. So you see how Improvising, especially right now, not everyone's gym is open. Improvising is great. We're just out here at the playground. There's not even a lot of equipment here. So the last exercise I'm gonna do for the day is called a flexed arm hang. So we'll show you my whole body when we do this. And basically it's just a beginner move to help you work towards a full pull up, which is a very difficult exercise a lot of women have difficulty with it because it requires such uh, strong upper body strength and back strength. And this move is actually very difficult for me. Probably because my hands are really cold right now, I won't be able to do it for very long. But basically, you're in that flexed arm and you're just hanging. I'm gonna do one more. That is very challenging, especially when your hands are cold. But again, reset, even if you can just hang there for a second or two seconds. But again, you can work your way up a great litmus test over time to see, count your seconds week by week and see how long you can keep hanging for. So one more time. Okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed that calisthenics workout. I thought it was very fun and challenging. If you like this video, subscribe to the Trainer Julia channel and you'll get a lot more workouts like this one. 15 to 20 minutes, little to no equipment, you can do them anywhere. This is Trainer Julia saying, see you next time and have a fit day.